Hello, this is Mr. Green. In this lesson, we're going to look at trigonometric identities. These are very useful when simplifying trigonometric expressions. For example, suppose we want to simplify cosine of alpha plus tangent of alpha sine of alpha. There are three trigonometric identities we're going to use to help us simplify this expression. The first one is called a reciprocal identity. It's for tangent of alpha. We're going to substitute sine of alpha over cosine of alpha. So our next step will say cosine of alpha plus sine of alpha over cosine of alpha times sine of alpha. If we get a common denominator and add these two expressions together, we get cosine squared of alpha plus sine squared of alpha all over cosine of alpha. Now we're ready to use the second identity in this problem. It's called a Pythagorean identity, and we're going to substitute 1 for sine squared of alpha plus cosine squared of alpha. So now our expression will say 1 over cosine of alpha. And our final identity that's going to help us out is another reciprocal one. This one is for 1 over cosine of alpha. That's equal to secant of alpha. And we have simplified our expression. Trigonometric identities are also very useful when trying to find exact values. In this example, we want to use this angle sum identity to find the exact value of sine of 75 degrees. So our first step is to rewrite 75 degrees as 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. Now we're going to use this angle sum identity. We can write our expression as sine of 45 degrees times cosine of 30 degrees plus cosine of 45 degrees times sine of 30 degrees. What I want you to do now is substitute the values for all four of these. If you need some help, you can use these diagrams I have drawn over to the left for a 45, 45, 90 right triangle and a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. When you substituted those values, hit the continue button to move on. All right, welcome back. For sine of 45 degrees, hopefully you put rad 2 over 2. Cosine of 30 degrees is rad 3 over 2. Cosine of 45 degrees is rad 2 over 2. And sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. When we simplify this expression, we get our answer rad 6 plus rad 2 all over 4. This is the exact value of sine of 75 degrees. Well, this wraps up this lesson on trigonometric identities. Hopefully you can see how useful they are. Great job and good luck on the rest of your homework. You can get more Algebra 2 help by signing up for Nutshell Math. I'll see you next time.